This diagram shows a little handy uh, movement pattern for getting animals into the squeeze chute. I've been doing a lot of work with big feed yards on getting rid of electric prods. And they say, well, how do we get them in the squeeze chute without an electric prod? Well, what you do is you walk back past the animal. And when you walk back past the animal and you cross its point of balance, it will go forward. And you can see sort of a little triangle there. You just stand back about three foot away from the squeeze chute. And when the tailgate opens, just go forward, walk back past the animal. The, the, the principle is you walk inside the flight zone in the opposite direction of desired movement and outside the flight zone in the same direction of desired movement. This principle works both in chutes and out on pasture. Why do the cattle do this? This is another predator avoidance behavior that helps the animal to run away from a lion. But it's a principle that works in pens, it works in chutes, and it also works in open pastures. You walk back by them, close in on the flight zone, and the animals tend to run in the opposite direction. You can also do it in a curved chute. Notice that you're walking close to the chute in the opposite direction of desired movement. And as you cross the shoulder of each animal, they're going to go forward. And then you cut across the circle and be outside the flight zone when you go back. And you can just kind of keep repeating these patterns and making the animals just make them keep going. Because as you do this pattern, you are alternately entering the flight zone and then retreating from the flight zone. 